We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Mohammed Ibrahim who is Senior Advisor for the Ministry of Information, Post and Telecommunications for Somalia. Mr. Ibrahim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. You're welcome. I'd like to start off by asking you, what have your impressions been of Wicket 2012 so far? Um, so far so good. I, I think there was a lot of hype before we arrived here and we we're all wondering how will this pan out, but it seems reason has prevailed and so far it seems things are stabilizing and I'm happy with the outcome so far. What are the major concerns for you here? Uh, I guess we came here with, with some, um, I guess we were a bit worried about some of the news we were getting from the media and this whole idea about the ITU taking over the internet and so on. But it seems that's not the case anymore and I guess people are realistically looking at the current situation. In our case, we're a little bit different. In Somalia, for the last two and two years, we didn't have any functioning proper government. So now we have a permanent government. We're looking at this very closely because we are just developing our laws and we want to see how does the whole internet world work? Who runs it? How does it work? How does it govern? And so on. There's been a lot of talk of transparency. What's been your impression of this? I think the ITU is very transparent. Um, I'm not trying to be diplomatic about this, but we've been engaging the ITU for the last three years. We've been away for 20 years, as I said, and we're happy with what we're seeing. We also work with many other UN agencies, but so far the ITU and the UBU are the only two that we really feel comfortable and we can understand how they work and how they function. What are the most important elements that you hope will be refreshed in this treaty for Somalia? I think it would be very useful if there's some clear signals for all, so we really understand where we all stand. Uh, the, the area that we're more interested in is how is the internet governed in general? And I think that's what we're hoping. I want to go home and sit with my government ministers and say, this was the outcome. And I can explain in clear language what was the new treaty and how it was developed. I was in Melbourne, as it happens, in 1988. But by then, I didn't know anything about the ITU and what was going on. So and I'm happy also when I go back to Melbourne and remember, and I say, look, 20 plus years ago, the treaty that was signed has been revised and updated, and hopefully with some clear inputs. So that's really my hope. They were calling the conference in Melbourne in 1988 the spirit of Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Here they're calling it the, the spirit of the Emirates. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to find out what your impressions are of the spirit here at the conference. I think there's a lot of collaboration. I get the feeling, of course, the last few days things are getting a little bit exciting. Um, but so far it seems people are talking. And to me, as long as we're talking and we're negotiating and we're discussing, I'm happy. Uh, I don't like to see things going to a vote. Uh, I like the history of the ITU, the idea of consensus. And I think the same will happen. I'm, I'm very optimistic. And are you optimistic for the final results then of the conference? I am. I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic. Um, I guess this morning there are a few emails that are floating, but I think at the end of the day, um, reason will prevail. And how will this treaty affect telecommunications in Somalia? In our case, we're a little bit different. Uh, we're actually revising our own internal telecommunication laws. And a big chunk of that will be the internet and the e-business and so on. So we won't take advantage of this new treaty. And instead of going back to the 1988, use this new treaty and say, look, we can now move forward with the current thinking, what's happening out there. So we're really looking this forward. Is there a message that you would like to put forward here or that you'd like to offer to our uniquely influential audience? Yes, um, and thank you for that. I just got back from Mauritius, by the way, yesterday. I went back for three days to advise the minister. And we are back. We were away from the ITU, we were away from many UN agencies. Now we're back, so Mali is back. So the message is, first of all, to all the members, now we're ready to do business again, but also to the private sector. Somalia is booming. The documentation industry is one of the fastest growing industry, in fact, in Africa. So the time is right. And I like to talk as many people as possible here and pass the message to everyone. And through you also, thank you very much. I would like to let the world know that Somalia is back. Mr. Ibrahim, it's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much indeed for your participation today. You're welcome. Thank you.